For many years, spreadsheets have been the go-to tool for organizing and analyzing the data. On the other hand, Jupyter Notebooks has completely revolutionized the data science workflow with its interactive core cells and rich data visualization capabilities. Now imagine combining the capability of both worlds. With Python library IPySheet, you can do exactly that. That's why in today's video, I'm gonna introduce you to a Python library named IPySheet that let us include spreadsheets in Jupyter Notebook. So without further ado, let's get started. Right, so as you can see on my screen, I have already started Jupyter Notebook. And at the beginning of the notebook, I have highlighted important sections of this tutorial. So I'll be explaining how you can create sheets, then add data to those sheets, then perform calculations and so on. So these are the topics that I will be covering with library IPySheet. So first of all, in order to install IPySheet, you need to execute this command in your shell or command prompt. So you can install it using pip, pip install IPySheet. And then you can import it. So let me import it and print the current version. And then I will also import IPy widgets. So if you don't know, IPy sheet itself is designed on a top of a Python widgeting library IPy widgets. And each IPy sheet sheet is a widget. So and each cell of those sheets are also widgets. So it's not a full-fledged uh, Excel spreadsheet, but it's a widget. So you can say it's a spreadsheet widget. So yeah, well, let's get started with the part where we create some spreadsheets. So in order to create a sheet, we simply need to call this function name sheet, which is available from IPy sheet, and it will create a default uh, spreadsheet for us. So let me execute this line of code. And as you can see, uh, it has created a spreadsheet with uh, five columns and five rows. Now we can insert the data over here, whatever we want to write. So we can do that. And yeah, so by default, as you can see, it created a spreadsheet with uh, five rows and five columns. So if you want to modify that, if you want a spreadsheet with 10 rows and 10 columns, then there is a parameter named rows and columns, which you can provide. So as you can see now, there are 10 rows and 10 columns. Other than that, if you don't want column headers and row headers, so you can set these parameters to false and there won't be any row or column headers. So whatever, if you want to disable, then you can do that as well. And as you can see, uh, the default spreadsheets are spreading in the whole layout, but you want to change the size of columns. So you can do that using column with parameter. So over here, I have specified 50 pixels and stretch headers you need to set to empty string. So that's how it will modify the width of the columns. If you want to modify with then you can do that as well and over here i have explained how you can modify the default uh, headers so if you don't want a b c d e f g h or so on and the numbers but if you want something of your own then you can provide that uh, string list of strings over here to row headers and column headers let me execute it and as you can see zero one two three these are the column headers and this a b c d e f are the row headers so let's move on to next section and now add some data to this spreadsheets using code. Now there are different ways to add data to spreadsheet using code. So you can add data for individual cells. You can add data for whole row, for some rows, some columns and so on. So I will explain you all those different ways. So the simplest way is to use this function name cell, which is available from IPy sheet. So you can call this function cell and then you can provide row and column of the cell. So the indexing starts from zero and till the end. Same goes for column indexing and then value parameter. You can provide value string, float, integer, whatever value. There is also type parameter which you can specify. Though it will try to infer the data type based on the data you provide. But if you want to provide, uh, then you can provide using type parameter. So as you can see over here, I have created IPy sheet with 10 rows and five columns. And then I am setting very few cells. So row one, column one will be the second row and second column cell. Same, I am setting few other cells. 
and each of this cell is ipy widget widget and it returns us reference cell one so in future we can link these cells with uh, widgets as well and as we change widget values this uh, cell values will change as well and that i will explain you in one of our upcoming examples and if you want to set some cell as read only so that you can't modify it then you can set this parameter read only to true so using this uh, function cell you can add data to spreadsheets and as you can see over here i have added this data now you can also do styling so for there there are two different ways of doing styling one is that you provide style parameter and then you provide a dictionary to it where you can provide a css values that uh, you want to color so color is dodger blue which is the color of text then you can specify background color you can specify font ways font size font family and so on so this is the one way of styling the cell another way of styling is you can provide this as an individual attribute as well so this function cell do have some styling details so as you can see color background color font style font weight all that you can provide over here so yeah so that's how you can style the cell if you are interested in styling some cells of your data set and each of the cells are available through this uh, cells attribute so if i execute this as you can see these are the various cells which i set over here so if you want to retrieve the list of cells you can do that you can retrieve individual cell as well and then you can retrieve the value of that cell so for the first one as you can see the value was hello so that's a one way of setting the cell data now you can also set uh, widgets as a cell values as i explained so that's what i have done over here so for some cells i have set uh, drop down as a widget from iba widgets and then button and then end slider so this you can include these widgets as well and you can do that using ipy widgets library which we imported and if you're in interested in learning about ipy widgets then i would recommend that you visit our small course where i have covered the ipy widgets in detail i will include link to it in the top right corner as well as in the description so please feel free to explore if you're interested in and then what you can do is that over here you can change the value and as you can see you can change the value of these widgets as well yeah so you can include so this is one of the benefit you can include widgets so now let's move on to the next section so in this section i have explained how you can add data for whole row whole, whole columns not rows so in previous example, I explained how you can add data for individual cells, but sometimes you want to add data for whole columns or rows as well. So that's what I will explain in this section. So as you can see, first of all, again, I have created a sheet and then I have created a two random list of 10 numbers. And in order to set the column values, so you can call this function column, which is available from my pie sheet. And then you need to give index of that column. So for first column, the index is zero because indexing starts from zero. And then you can provide the list of numbers which is these random numbers in this case and same way you i have set few other columns over here as you can see and the column function is same parameters to style so you can style whole columns over here in case of cell we used to style only one cell but over here whatever styling detail you provide that will be applied to the whole column so let me execute this line of code and yeah as you can see over here i have set uh, four columns and as you can see over here there is a one more example of using column so in this case i have created this array of only five numbers now if you notice we have uh, 10 rows and i have only created five values so if i set this one then it will set it first of five values over here but let's say that i want to start it from some different position so i have set the row start to two so zero one and two so from here that array values will start yeah so if you want to set at different locations then you can do that using row start parameter as well right so let's add data for row wise so we added data for column wise same way we can use a function name row so to add data in row wise fashion so over here i have created two arrays and again the code is almost same as our previous example but we are setting rows instead of columns as you can see and if you want to set values for some particular column then you can use column start parameter in this case 
let me execute this line of code and as you can see first column then this fifth, uh, sixth and ninth column are set and for this one values are starting from second column over here so you can set the values for individual columns as well so let's move on and try some calculations now in order to do calculations uh, we will need to write our functions so we can't do like uh, excel spreadsheets where we directly type the formulas in case of python over here in jupyter notebook we will need to write our functions for particular calculations so that's what i have explained over here as you can see so first of all i have created a spreadsheet and then i have added two uh, three strings over here in the first three cells which is x y and multiplication so these are labels and then again i have added three more cells where i have set value 5 10 and the third set cell is set as read only equal to true so whatever is the value of cell 1 and cell 2 it will be multiplied and the multiplication will be displayed in cell 3 that's why i have kept it to read only so that we can't modify it and in order to execute uh, particular calculation i have declared a function over here multiply which takes two arguments x and y it then multiplies them and it can save and in order for attaching this function with uh, cell the read only cell we need to over here add a decorator named calculations so you can import calculation from ipy sheet and we need to provide it two values to it one is inputs so inputs are cell 1 and cell 2 so those values will be given over here as inputs which will go over here as x and y and output of this which is x star y will be set as a value of cell 3 so let me execute this line of code and as you can see over here are the labels x y and the third one is multiplication over here is value 5 10 and so on so let me modify this value to 10 and yeah as you can see as soon as i modify the value the multiplication got modified as well and multiplication is not editable so as i click on it we can't uh, modify it because it's read only so if you want to perform some kind of uh, operations then you will need to follow this format of decorating a function with calculation so that was one example so here i have created one more example so what i have done over here is that i have linked sliders with the first two values x and y so let me execute this line of cell and show you so as you can see these are the two widgets that i created and first widget is linked with value of x over here second widget is linked with the value over here so when i change the uh, slider value as you can see this value gets updated and as this value gets updated the multiplication gets updated as well so yeah if you are interested in linking the values of the cell with some widgets then you can do that as well so over here i have linked using widget linking and so on and created these widgets so you can learn about this from our course on ipy widgets so let's move on to the next section where i explain how you can create sheets from numpy rs right so in all our previous example we created an empty sheet and then added the data to those sheets but let's say that you have some uh, numpy array already present and you want to take data from that array and create a sheet so for that uh, there is a shortcut function name from array which is available from ipy sheet and you can simply give any array so i over here i am giving a random array of 5 by 5 so it will create an array of so, those numbers so it took five columns and five rows so based on the size of the array the spreadsheet will be created so if you are interested in creating a spreadsheet from numpy rs then you can do that and if you want the data of a spreadsheet to an array so you can call this function to array on this sheet and then it will convert it to numpy array so if you want to take the data of the sheet into array you can do that as well same way you can create uh, spreadsheet from pandas data frame as well so that is what i have explained over here so first of all i have created a pandas data frame of random numbers five by five so five rows and five columns and i have set headers h1 h2 and so on and then indexes the row indexes if you want to create a spreadsheet from a data frame then the function name is from data frame and then you need to give data frame over there so let me execute this line of 
this uh, cell code and as you can see h1 h2 and so on so these are the headers as you can see you can sort as well so if you're interested in sorting you can do that as well in ascending or descending order yeah and same way if you want to convert this uh, spreadsheet into pandas data frame then you can use this function name to spreadsheet yeah so as you can see here we have our spread uh, here we have our data frame created from spreadsheet all right so that's it for today's tutorial in today's tutorial i explained you how you can use python library ipy sheet to include spreadsheets in jupyter notebook if you liked our video then give it a thumbs up subscribe to our channel for more such videos and see you next time